okay we're back with another review and right here in front of me i have the rainbow high cheryl Ma um cheryl maya is it maya because i think it's M maya but it might be pronounced maya i'm not entirely sure how do you say it with a british accent please let me know in the comments but this is my third series three girl um still not complete the collection i have um is your name i've forgotten her name already um i know it's something it's not wanda what's it called vanda something devanda i can't remember anyway so i have her and i also have georgia uh georgia's my favorite out of this entire line um my least favorite is gabrielle isley or whatever her name is um and I think the next I want to get is either uh, Daria or, come on, name. I've forgotten your name already. What are you called? Daphne? Daphne Minto or something like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm missing a few from Series 3 is what I'm trying to say. Series 4 is already out in the UK. And so many other doll lines that like doll lines in the Rainbow High franchise that I am very, very, very far behind on. Um, but I'm going at my own pace. I'm buying the dolls that I can for right now. So I'm just going to be sticking to that. Um, but anyway, I'm very excited to open her because like this will be my... Well, I have yellow themed dolls, but they are all sunny. Like, let's be real. Like, I have Cheer Sunny. Um, I don't yet have Winter Break Sunny. Um, but the only yellow doll I currently have in my collection is Sunny. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is my second yellow doll. And I feel like this is what Sunny should have been. Like, I feel like the blonde kind of yellow is more my style like sunshine yellow like this this is a lot lot nicer i don't know um i am gonna get out of the box though because her hair has been in front of her eye for the longest longest time and i don't know why but i've been wanting for ages to just kind of like get it out of her eye for her because like Poor girl, she's probably got like a bunch of hair in her eye and she's probably suffering. I don't know why I think my dolls have feelings, but that's just me. But yeah, so very, very excited to open up Cheryl. So obviously we've taken a look at the back of the box that has all the series uh, three girls on there. And the description is literally the same as it's always been. Uh, Welcome to Rainbow High, the colourful art school full of bold fashions and even bolder drama. And then it says it in like different languages and stuff like that. And Cheryl is actually a textile design focus. I have actually done that in school. And it's basically to do with like sewing machines and, you know, patterns and basically designing, you know, things like that um but yeah i don't think there's much else to show so i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is get her out the box i'm not gonna be unboxing these like because i don't know i don't really i don't really play around and dress up my dolls as um as i used to because i have so many dolls that when i get them all together and like try to dress them up and stuff it actually gets chaotic and i actually get tired doing it like it's it's actually a lot of work to redress all your dolls um as much as i love it it is a lot of effort so i like to keep these in the box until i feel like taking them out just so that they're not like scattered everywhere and i don't lose them because i'm always losing stuff so i like to keep them in their box so they're not you know hang around and all that Right, so I'm going to get her out and I will be back soon. It, here she is out of the box and wow I'm in love with her 
like I, I don't know how to describe it like I haven't actually felt this much love for a doll in so long because it's like her face is so fucking perfect <laughs> I don't know how to describe it like yes the makeup like the glitter is all up in that eyelash and it's not flawless but I don't know her face is like angelic it's it's beautiful and she has no gel in her hair but her hair has that problem that Emmy Vanda has where um it was like super super greasy and for some reason that's like a series three problem I mean I didn't have that issue with Georgia but like I don't know why but like she has gorgeous gorgeous like yellow hair um and she is by far my favorite yellow doll i hope they do more yellow shades because i feel like they give us a lot of like pink purple and god what else violet shades and they they're kind of not giving us enough like orange dolls or red dolls or even yellow dolls like they're purely focusing on like the blues and the purples and the pinks which is fun and everything but i would like more of a variety um so more yellow dolls more red and more orange those are like my three favorites because obviously i'm a redhead so of course i would like those let's quickly take a look at her face not like you can't notice it because like i don't know about you but like i'm totally like falling in love with her eyes right now it's just so beautiful <laughs> anyway i think i might have a crush on her <laughs> um anyway so here she is of course she has the yellowy blonde hair it's a bit greasy but we won't talk about that uh she has like the faded sort of eyebrows and then she has like glittery yellow goldish makeup um she actually has hazel eyes which is really really nice because i love blonde people with uh hazel or brown eyes like they're just stunning um i think it looks way better than like blue eyes any day of the week um but yeah here she is and she also comes with these ginormous earrings which i'm not really a fan of but it does actually match her outfit so will her la uh, will allow her and it says rh of course because they have to put their brand everywhere don't they um so it says rh and then it kind of has like a pearl that's kind of dropping this one keeps falling out but it's like kind of caught in her hair right now so i'm not going to bother about that but yeah it's basically the same on both sides and she has kind of like this darker nude lipstick and you know it looks good and it suits her very very well also the outfit is the one thing that everyone was talking about when uh cheryl first came out or first got released for series three and that is because this outfit looks pretty much identical to the actual well i can't remember her name i think her name was Cher or something i'm not sure but it's it's very very similar this whole outfit is inspired by the clueless film uh if you haven't seen clueless it is an iconic i can you even call it a chick flick i'm not entirely sure but it's kind of like yeah i, I would call it a chick flick but um yeah it's like an iconic 90s chick flick and um that's where the saying uh as if comes from obviously i can't do a very good impression but yeah um but yeah so you've literally got the plaid you've got the the plain white rainbow shirt i love the plain white and black like clothes i think they look so good and i cannot wait to get my first shadow high doll i already have a favorite and i think her name is like chanel or something i'm not sure or Chantel, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, here it is. And then she has this belt. And it's actually, it does feel like real leather a little bit. I'm not sure. It says rainbow, of course, as you do. Um, she has matching, like, gold buttons. It's so much detail. I love it. This is why I love Rainbow High. Because at first, I was, when I first bought Rainbow High, I was amazed by their detail. And then the more and more I bought dolls like the better the detail got um although sometimes the detail's a bit meh like 
I think the worst dress to this day that they've ever made was Violet's like wave one doll dress like with the sweet uh, sequins and stuff it was awful I hated it uh, she also has stockings which I managed to not rip <laughs> Which is good because I, I really like, I think out of the two dolls, this is definitely my favourite. Um, and she has these really cute, like, I don't know why, but if these were in red, they would remind me of Snow White shoes. But yeah, they're really, really adorable. That is Cheryl. Um, moving on to her outfit and stuff like that. So we have some shoes here. Not a huge fan of the second pair of shoes. Um like i don't know but they're there and i could probably give them to sunny so it's fine uh so my wave one sunny finally has some spare clothes to wear uh because she doesn't have a lot and it's kind of sad i need to get a new um i need to get a new uh basic wave one sunny because like i cut her fringe off and i kind of regret it now um so i don't have the doll in its like original form <laughs> so i'm kind of sad about that anyway um so she has like this i can't even read what it says oh it says rainbow of course why does it say rainbow everywhere rainbow height you really need to stop with the over branding it's getting ridiculous um but yeah she's got like this cute little like you know rich girl attire i'd like to call it you know oh look at me just going out golfing with daddy <laughs> that's how i see it um love 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 the long sleeve top that's like sheer material like i don't think we've had that yet i'm not sure and then i don't know if that's a dress or a skirt but i kind of love it um but yeah this is very much like going to church or going golfing or something like that but yeah this is a very very nice outfit and i think i may have to switch her into this outfit because this is a bit much <laughs> but it's fine. And of course, she also comes with a stand. You know, you've seen that already. Oh, and she does have, was it yellow nail polish? But you can barely see it, so there's no point showing. She comes with, you know, the standard stuff that they come with, like the clothes hanger and stuff like that. And the comb. And that's literally everything that she comes with. So, I'm gonna go ahead and thank you for watching this review. And I'm not sure when my next video would be, so I'm not even gonna say, because like, I just post when I can sort of thing. So I like post every once in a blue moon. Um, so I'm sorry if you do enjoy my videos and you wanna see more and see more regular content, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen because uh, dolls are expensive and I don't have the funds for this hobby but do I want to stop collecting them? Of course not because <laughs> I, I love these dolls and they're beautiful and they're perfect and the new dolls that they're coming out with are just outstanding um, so I don't want to give it up. That's going to be it and I'll see you whenever the next review is.